Hey, what is up YouTube? Alright, coming at you with another training video. In this uh, training video, we're going to be focusing on legs and some of the things that I'm working on at the moment in my leg training. So, uh, starting with squats. Squats has never been a, a good exercise for me. Um, this, this specifically is a, is a low bar squat, so the main muscles that I'm working here are, are the quads, um, the abductors and the glutes. So uh, in the past my leg training was more uh, following uh, similar to that of Dorian Yates where it was a lot of leg press, back squats and, uh, and leg extension. Um, never really built up the uh, the strength in my hips and my glutes. So now um, a lot of my leg training is focused on, on that area, building up the hips and the glutes and getting stronger at these movements. So basically what I'm thinking about here is uh, trying to keep as, as stable a pelvis as possible So uh, and, and trying to drive the knees apart and drive the floor apart as, as I come down as much as possible. Um, to really open up uh, at the hips and, and get those glutes firing. So working up uh, in weight each time, I'm keeping the reps pretty low. I'm keeping the reps to uh, five and six reps for my working sets. Um, and not going too crazy with the weights. I'm really mostly working on technique. And uh, as soon as my technique starts to break down, which is about 110, 120 kilos, that's where I sort of end things. So it's uh, going away from what I'm used to, where I'm used to really trying to uh, fatigue everything, crush everything. Um, in terms of volume, I'm just uh, hitting the numbers that I'm capable of at the moment and uh, trying to each week get a little, that little bit stronger. So the weights are not. Uh, very impressive and it's not good for the ego but it's necessary to to make improvements in uh, strength and the areas that I want to. So as you can see here we're at about 110 kilos now so I'm still in relatively good control but uh, not 100%. This is where my technique starts, starts to break down a little bit. So the problem that I have is uh, my right knee doesn't have the greatest range of motion. It's a bit of a problem that I've um, always had, but I've always managed it fairly well. Um, it's, it comes from an old uh, sort of cricket injury growing up. Um, so my right knee tends to cave in a little bit, especially when the weight gets heavy. And in. this is uh, where it starts to go bad, and my pelvis starts to become unstable. So that's the weight that I stop at, and that each week trying to work on. Uh, just getting it a little bit stronger and a little bit better at this movement. So as you can see, the pelvis is not uh, not that great, and I'm trying to sway to one or one side or the other. So then, once I'm done with the squats, um, I then move on to this superset. So I'm using the, the pre-core squat machine that they've got here at Camperdown. It's a great machine um, because it just takes out that. Uh, a little bit of stabilizing that you have to do. The machine still moves like you're, you're in a squat, but just uh, once you've achieved, it's a good one to do on the uh, just try and crank out a bit more reps. Also, I've got like a, a band around my thighs, that's just to give me something to push against um, to get my, my glutes firing 100%. Uh, really have something to resist, resist against and push against to, to try and still think about spreading my knees apart. It's a superset with the, the squat press. Now this is a beautiful uh, leg press machine. So again, still working on the, mostly the hips and the abductors, trying to get those knees nice and wide apart. So it's not too much uh, on, the, on the quads, like hack squat or, or other leg presses would be, but uh, it's a beautiful movement, a beautiful machine that they've got here at uh, Camp So with the workout so far, uh, the movements are progressively getting easier. So the squat being the hardest, then the, uh, the squat machine uh, is a little bit more stabilizing you have to do, but then the squat press is basically uh, taking out any sort of stabilizing and really just focusing on the movement. So the, the cues are the same as the squat, so trying to drive the knees out and uh, get the hips back um, because I uh, 
have a tendency to use uh, a little bit too much quads and, and get the body uh, coming forward. So I'm thinking about driving my hips back and knees out and uh, chest up through the whole movement. So this is the last superset that I did for, the, for this movement. Um, so I'm really starting to fatigue here. And just with the, the squat press, um, what I'm thinking about with my knees, uh, so I'm trying to keep my, my butt on the pad the whole time, but what I'm thinking is get my knees out, again, driving them apart at the bottom, but then on the way up, I'm not thinking about pushing up, I'm trying to think about pushing my knees to the floor. So then it, it um, becomes a more complete movement, if that makes sense. So rather than just thinking about pushing up, I'm thinking about driving my knees out into the floor. So then once I'm done with the superset, then I just go for straight sets on both machines. So I've got the, the squat machine loaded up uh, to the maximum at the moment. I'm aiming for about six to eight reps in total. So this was a, uh, a drop set uh, or a, um, what do you call it, a rest pause. So I uh, rested for 10 to 15 seconds once I couldn't get any more. Uh, with the first attempt and then just uh, try to get about two more so up in all up in total I have about six to eight reps on my last set with this so as you can see it's uh, pretty hard work now and that's uh, that's where we, where we want to finish things so back to the swap press I've got it pretty loaded up now and just trying to uh, get as many reps out as I can and then uh, then this movement will be pretty much cooked So then next, uh, normally I, I wouldn't do leg extensions in this type of workout, but uh, I'm taking advantage of uh, training at Camperdown. It's the only gym that I'm training at at the moment that has these unilateral uh, leg extension pieces that I, that I love to use. So uh, this is great for me uh, as I've got uh, a little bit of an imbalance between right and left. So uh, any time I can, I try and take advantage of this machine. And then the last movement is uh, a horizontal leg press. So the idea with this leg press is there's constant tension the whole time on the quad, so you're not really locking out. Um, and then it's, it's, it really burns this one. It's a nice piece that they've got at camper down. It's a hoist machine, so it, it all kind of moves a little bit weird. But once you get used to it, um, it's a great one for the quads and keep that tension on the muscle the whole time. So then just finishing off with a little bit of hamstrings, a little bit of posterior chain, so some lying leg curl and basically uh, just try to keep nice and stable. With this, I was pretty fatigued, so uh, just trying to get that little bit more work done. I do have another day where I prioritise the hamstrings, so, but I always try and get in uh, a couple of movements just in the end for the, uh, the posterior chain. And then the last movement is just some hyperextensions and this um, hyperextension kind of works a little bit like a uh, glute and ham raise 
So ideally you'd probably want to be able to do the, the gluten ham raise, but I was pretty fatigued by this stage, so uh, settle for this one, try and build up my strength with this movement. And as you can see the pad moves, so you can get to just that little bit more hamstring out of it. But uh, that's my leg workout wrapped up at the new Camperdown Fitness. I uh, hope you guys enjoy and uh, keep following along for more videos.